Make sure to never miss another video by subscribing. Hit the bell to enable notifications. Hit the check mark, save, and if you enjoy the video, leave a like. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Pan 11 and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo. Uh, remember when I said Minecraft's coming yesterday? Well, I lied. It is coming, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, maybe tomorrow. I'm not making promises no more. You know, every time I make promises, it goes wrong. Um, but you guys seem to enjoy this first episode, the first little thing we did at Planet Zoo. And, I mean, I've been having fun with it, so I'm going to do a little bit more of it. Um, this is definitely going to become a stream game, though. Um, but I did want to show you guys, I've done a little bit more work over here, and I'll set everything up. And we also are dealing with a lot of our animals starting to die, and we're needing to replace a lot of them. And maybe we'll make a new exhibit. We'll see. Um, but anyways, for anybody that missed last episode or the last video of Planet Zoo we did, there was a tour. It pretty much included all of this stuff right here. Uh, I guess all of all, all of this stuff right here. Uh, we have a new little area here. I think I had the circle built last time. But let's go ahead and show everything off. Uh, so let's get some updates. First off, we have like a billion little baby warthogs in here. Uh, we have three adults everybody should be alive and well in here where they are uh but we have a ton of kids one two three four five six seven i believe seven little warthogs that sounds like a start of a joke oh wait one two three four five six seven eight we have eight little warthogs maybe more we just have eight i believe <laughs> let's see if i click this it should tell us uh animal we have 12 oh one's in the trade center so we have 11 we have 11 animals in there, so we have eight little babies all right here. Uh, a lot of them. There's a lot of little guys here. I don't know if any of these guys are actually good. Maybe I should look through them and see. I don't think so. Uh, so in my in my trading hub, oh, that's not the right one. That's, here's the right one. Uh, we have some animals that are sitting in here. So we have a new grizzly bear uh, ready to go. Uh, we also have a couple of male wolves that are ready to go. Uh, we're starting to get some peacocks or pea fowls. And one of our good warthogs, this is a really good one. Uh, she was born from somebody, I, I don't know. But she is ready to go, and she came from our zoo, from our little breeding program. So, we're not we're not getting rid of her fi for 15 wild thingies. We're going to use her uh, later on. Um, but we have some... We have a really good wolf, too, besides the size. Actually, this guy's better, except for immunity. Uh, 35, and I guess he can't be traded because he's too young. Uh, but this guy is gold. He's a gold one. So I don't really know what that means yet. I guess just high appeal. So we'll definitely have to use him for sure. Wakefield. Uh, we can name them too, which is cool. Um, let's see. So I just recently bought a couple of these guys. One for 45 credits. One for 47. I know I should be saving up these credits. I really should be. So we can get something cool. Um... But yeah, we have eight little guys here, and we're just keeping an eye out. Oh, there's a, an albino one here. It's too expensive for us, sadly. This one's not, though. Oh, wow, this one's amazing. Let's... Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's an amazing peacock right there, named Ryan from, uh, from Mizuno. It usually tells you what zoo they come from. I guess not this one. Uh, so that's three peacocks we got. So I guess if we buy one more, just to complete our little... Because uh, I think we needed four of them, so I mean, we might as well. Uh, longevity, no. These, they're all pretty bad, so let's just get this one, I guess. Uh, so that will give us a total of four. So we can build a peacock exhibit now, technically. Uh, and we have two males, two females. That's pretty good. Um, and we have a gold star albino one. This one's really good. He's it's, it's a little bit old, which is probably a downside. How, how long do these guys live? Uh, species data. They live to be 23, so they're still pretty, they have a pretty long while to go. Uh, so that's pretty good. But anyways, yeah, warthogs is what I was saying. We have a lot of little warthog babies. Uh, we have a couple of bears. Sadly, our male bear from last episode died. Uh, so did our original warthog pair, by the way. I don't know if they happened last episode or not. But we have a good male here, I believe. Oh, he's not good. Is this one a male? No, it's a female. She's not that good either. Uh, so, eh, he's okay. Uh, he's going to have to do, so we're going to store him. Uh, we can store him now, to be honest. So, let's uh, yeah, let's send him to the Trade Center. And we'll store him up for when Mama here dies. She's going to die soon, unfortunately. Uh, she's an elderly as well. 
Uh, she's five stars, probably because she's given so had so many babies. I am assuming. So she's had, so she only had three kids actually. One of them was released. We'll probably release this female. Yeah, probably. We'll probably release the female for credits. And then once the mom dies, we'll get this boy. And uh, that's the wrong tab again. I keep doing that. We'll get that boy and this girl bear right here. Who's also, eh, she's okay. Uh, she's also 10 already. Uh, so we'll get them mating, and that's what we'll do there. Like I said, we have a good warthog, we have a good wolf, and now we have a good uh, peacock too, so we can build a peacock exhibit one uh, soon. Uh, so over here we got our buffalo, uh, our bison. Uh, they recently grew up, some of them, so we sold everybody off, and these are the new ones we have. Uh, we, girls, uh, see, not all the girls are pregnant, just the one. No, uh, just two. So we have two expected offsprings in March and June. So that's pretty good. And we just had one here. Oh, it's already March. So we should have one from her. Yeah, we should have one, another couple babies. One or two, maybe. Uh, new buffalo bison. Bison sell pretty good. They think they sell for about 50 each. They do take a little while to grow up. I forget what it was. What was it? I think it was four or five years. I think it's five years. Uh, yeah, five years. Uh, before we can sell them, but they sell for like 50 a piece. So that's not bad uh, So then wolves Unfortunately all our our parent wolves are dead. I think we just have the babies in here now. So it's a little pup land um, So we have we can't keep any of these females though because they're all From the same parents as our boys that we have in our animal training. So we're looking for a new female in the in the animal training I guess let's just let's get rid of the peacocks uh, yeah, let's get rid of them and let's put the wolves on here. I was tempted to buy the uh, the expansion, the Arctic Pass, but I'm not sure. Oh, here's a here's a female, 50%, but she only has 8%. Oh, that's tough. How about this one? Uh, no. How about okay, this one? We'll, we'll settle for her. Uh, she's something. She's 5.9. She's a little bit old, but that's okay. Um, at least we have a female now, so ready to go. Uh, and I don't think we're, we were keeping any of these puppies. I think we only had three puppies in here. I believe uh, let's, just, let's double check that cuz I don't want I don't want to mess anything up there uh, We have five animals two are in the trade center. Yeah, so yeah uh, And then that brings us to our new area. I believe it's everybody we've accounted for everybody So let's come over here first uh, So right here we have a Komodo dragon habitat <laughs> I think you can tell by how messy this habitat is how how many times I had to change how much space this thing needed. I underestimated it heavily. Uh, so this is not a really a good one at all, and it's just literally just one in here. Um, I really just decided, you know, just throw them in there. We'll have just one Komodo dragon. We don't need to breed everything in our in our park. Uh, so we just have the Komodo dragon chilling here. Uh, and, I mean, that's okay. He's happy. Uh, he has a, two caves because one wasn't good enough for him. I believe both of these are off of the workshop. No, this one I built. I built this one, and then this one was off of the workshop, and I put plants on top of it. You can probably tell because they're floating. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, that's a fun fact. So I bought Breather's game, and uh, she's going to make a zoo, and she said she's going to be better than me. So I'll, she's probably right, but I need you guys to have my back. And if she ever makes videos on this game and she's making a zoo, tell her her zoo's great. But not as great as mine. All right, guys, loyalty. Uh, but yeah, so we have these guys uh, just chilling. Did he play with this ball? Nope, this ball's still sitting there. So what was this? Uh, oh, frozen blood pumpkin. Use his last month zero. You didn't even use it. You're ungrateful, bro. Uh, so yeah, that's this guy. Uh, and then over here, we have space for new habitat. Kind of ugly here, though. Uh, we might get rid of this path, to be honest with you. Because we have one right here. I don't know if we need another one here. Actually, yeah. Looking at it, this is ugly, and it's going to go. Uh, so, delete. I said delete. I said delete. Okay. Right click. Right click. Right click. Right click. Right. There we go. There we go. So, we clean that up. But this is our new breeding thing. This should hopefully get us lots of stuff. Let's go ahead and click play here. Uh, so, we have three sections here. Let's go ahead and get this. Is this going to spoil what the animal was in there? No, it's not, actually. Komodo dragon. This will spoil it, though. Uh, so, in there, we had red uh, rough rough lemurs. 
And they are going to be our new breeding guys. Uh, they already had some babies. Uh, so let me introduce you. We have all kinds. What, what happened? You're thirsty. Why are you thirsty? Is nobody feeding you? Or nobody drinking you? Uh, call Keeper. Go take care of the snake. Even though I hate snakes. Go take care of them. Oh, and our bison's having baby. Okay, so I got distracted. All right. Look at uh, I, the buffalo do this in real life, and it's so cool. <laughs> if you ever get to see them like roll over, like I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think that's so cool uh, when they do it in in real life, in the wild. What's he doing? Is he playing with the rubbing pad? Oh, he's rubbing himself. Good. All right, have your babies already, okay? The whole world's watching. Uh, send them, no, let's go orbit. Uh, babies. You gonna give your babies in the mud? Is that like a C-section? Like a mud mud section? I'm gonna stop before I get too ahead of myself. All right, go ahead. Have the babies. There's one. How many are we gonna get? Just the one, or are we gonna get two from you? You wanna give us two, right? Two babies. You wanna give us two babies? Two babies? Ah, I think she's just done with one. Yep. All right, that's fine. Uh, so let's see. Trinity gives us birth to Tyler, who's a boy, so he's gonna have to get out of here. Uh, he's not super good, but he has pretty good appeal. Uh, so what's happening up here? Bet research is complete. Yes, sir. Uh, so our red rough lemurs are getting more progress. So yeah, let's go back over here. Uh, over here. <laughs> getting lost in my zoo. Uh, so they have a big old enclosure here. And basically what I'm thinking is we're going to move whoever's best, the male or the female, into this section here. Uh, and we're going to start off a second section for breeding. And... I forget what this was. I think this was supposed to be for the babies to grow up so we didn't, like, mix them up and do interbreeding. So as soon as... Okay, hold on. So let's let's stick to what we were saying here. Uh, so we have a bunch of females in here. There should be a couple of good ones, actually, because I invested quite a bit into this. Yeah, that one's really good. That's a male. This is our female. I think that's the only male, so everybody else is a female. This one's not that good. This one is an amazing one, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we have a couple of good females in here, and they're just gonna produce a bunch of babies for us. Uh, so we have little baby lemurs here. Uh, excuse me. Eh, eh, eh. Uh, so we're gonna want to keep one of these guys. There we go. Uh, that one's not bad. How about you? You're not bad. How about you? Uh, you also aren't that bad. Is that the only babies we have? I think that was three babies. None of them are in the climbing, no. Uh, yes, I think we only have the three babies. So we had to pick one of these. I think we're going to pick... Uh, is this a boy? Uh, I guess let's get the boy. I think there was a baby boy here. Uh, yeah, you. So we're going to put you in your own cage, buddy. And you're going to be the start of this section's breeding. Uh, maybe we shouldn't do this yet, though. Because I think they're going to get upset. Yeah, I think they're going to get upset. I think they need at least three. So until I can afford red rough, rough lemurs. Let's see. Uh, red rough lemurs. Red, red rough. There we are. Uh, so let's see. Red rough lemurs. Maybe we can afford two females real quick. She's not that good. There's a lot of males on here, actually, which is surprising. When I was here, it was all females. Uh, but I guess females are the ones that you're going to want. Is you just get one boy and you're set. 750? You're not even that good. I mean, I've got some really good deals on here. But some of the people like this guy? Oh. Okay, I guess that's worth it. But, like, some of these guys' prices are insane. Perfect M. Okay, you're not lying. It was a perfect one. Literally, literally perfect. Um, so let's just keep an eye out for females. Like, she's not... Eh, she's not terrible. That one's pretty bad for the price. Uh, we'll get this vet research. So we'll keep an eye on them. And we'll move babies that we're gonna sell. I don't I don't know how I wanna do this. I've never really breed, breeded, bred, bred in this game before. Oh, we got something new. Welcome. Hello. Hey, yo. Uh, so we're having more babies. Buffalo over here. Uh, so we're gonna have to sell a lot of those, but I do think I want to keep the male, and we'll we'll get a second set breeding at some point. Uh, so who was just born? Was it you, Tyler? No, Tyler was already born. 
Who's giving us new babies? Is it you over here? No, you're the alpha male. Did we not just? Oh, here's a third baby. Okay, which one are you newest? Point seven. Point. Here's the new one. So Embry, it's another male, and not that good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, we have breeding. I have to figure out how I want it to work. Like I said, I think we're gonna. Oh, we're having new mates. Good. We're having new babies already. And I believe, oh, many guests think the tickets are underpriced. Good, good, that's really good news. Thank you guys for telling me to raise my prices, 15 and 13. Uh, we're slowly raising it, so we're $64,000 in right now, that's pretty good. Um, but we have our lemurs. Look at all this, there's so many. And they're all happy? Yeah, they're all pretty happy. Uh, so yeah, we gotta figure out what we're gonna do with these babies, um, of course. Um, so I have to figure out how I'm gonna breed, uh, how I wanna set the breeding up. So we obviously need three per, so maybe we'll have a, maybe this can be the baby section since nobody can see this. Uh, I think we need, we need to put water and stuff in those, and we need to set up these habitats, of course. Um, but I think we'll put the babies that we're going to sell, just so we don't get them mixed up and let them accidentally grow, into here. And then this one will set a second one up. Uh, so I guess let's set the babies, all the new babies over there. Uh, so you're female. Uh, how do we want to do this, actually? Yeah, uh, so let's do it. Let's just move her over here. Uh, and let's see. You're an old girl. Oh, he's right in our back. Oh, I don't know if that was on purpose or a glitch, but he was on our back. Uh, so we want to keep him, I think. No, him? Let's see, 66% versus... Eh, 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 eh. I said 60, eh, 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 eh. Okay, I guess we're watching him. The little babies are hard to click. All right, you, uh, you're a female. You're actually not a bad one either. Maybe we should keep the girl, because she's really good. Uh, let's see, do we have any, wait, is this? Oh, she's already an adult here, what am I saying? So you're getting moved. Your. Oh, you got boxed up. Goodbye. Say bye to your family. It's so messed up, man. But that's what we gotta do. Uh, you're the male. I think we're keep. So let's. We don't need to move him yet. Which male do we want? Size 183. Yeah. So we want this guy. So I'm gonna. I'm just gonna name him. Your new name shall be Keep Me. Yep. That's a great name for you, buddy. Um. I'm so okay. Uh, yeah. So, I'm just gonna let them do their thing. I don't, maybe I shouldn't move this girl. Maybe I'll just move her back and I'll just keep track of it. Yeah, cause she's gonna be really unhappy here. Social, yeah, she's sad. That, that breaks my heart. Yeah, we're moving you back, I'm sorry. So I'll just keep a track of when they grow up uh, and I don't know what that third exhibit's gonna be yet. Uh, but we have to make a better breeding area at some point. I might make a whole zoo just for breeding cause the conservation points are really important. And to be honest with you, this whole place is kinda ugly. This whole bit, so I might rip all of this out and just keep this section lemurs, make this another section here. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but for now, this is the breeding area, but I think we might make a new zoo and make it purely for breeding. Um, but yeah, so that's everything here. Um, I think plans for the future are something here, maybe the peacocks, but that's kind of big. Um, or we could, I'm gonna move around so I can sit better. <laughs> uh, maybe I can move, make a little peacock exhibit right here, because they're small. It's a nice little thing to see on the entrance. Maybe we have peacocks and then flamingos. That could be kind of cool. So maybe that'll be our plan. We'll have flamingos, peacocks here, so for guests to walk up, they can see all these cool animals. Uh, I think we need to put more ATMs around, for sure. And we need to, we've researched a whole bunch of new places. You've already lost your balloon that you just spent like five bucks on. How much do balloons cost? 10 bucks on you as a green one so uh green balloon nine bucks you spent nine bucks on that balloon you let it go instantly so nice one bro uh who's nine dollars on a balloon oh my oh, there's another nine dollars floating into the sky good job these guys are very wasteful um but we'll definitely have some new souvenirs and stuff i have a nice backstage area over here there's a couple keepers huts a staff room and a mechanic place uh, this place needs to be repaired. Hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think we're gonna rip all this out, to be honest with you, and I'll just keep this one. I don't think we need to going at once. So I think we will get rid of that. 
and we'll change this to something else. I think we're gonna do that, and we'll have a breeding f like zoo specifically. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I know it's just another like little recap, but I hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless. And if you guys keep showing support on this series, I'll keep uploading some of these Planet Zoo videos because I really do enjoy this game. I have a ton of fun with it, and you guys enjoyed it, so yeah. Uh, but besides that, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Uh, Streak almost died today, but it didn't. We're going to keep it going. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Love you guys. Make sure you subscribe if you guys are new. Hit that uh, notification bell to never miss a video. And I will see you guys next time. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>